Hi guys, this episode is days 41 to 50 of Andy Man St. Paolo's Adventure, but before we get into it, we just hit 4,000 subscribers. I just want to thank you all so, so much. It really is amazing. And my next goal is 5,000. If you want to help the channel out, go down and subscribe now. Now let's get on with the video. Okay, we are back on day 40. We've got a few things to do over the next 10 days. Let's get the old mappage out. We're going over here. We're going to see what it's all about. We may, I think, go down the main bit here and dismantle all them cars because then that will actually increase our metalworking skills. So we've got a lot to do. First, we're going to get some food and then uh, we're going to head down there. Oh, look at our car. She's an absolute beauty, isn't she? Once we get these metal uh, sheets on there instead of the bars, whew, she'll be unstoppable. Oh, the massacre. The massacre. My God, look at it. Oh, all right, here we are. Let's deal with these unrulies and uh, see what we can get in there. Generator would be nice. Uh, maybe because it's an industrial place. Oh, we got a few up there. Let's go slowly in there. Let's not rush in. Oh, that's a lot of them taken care of. I'm sure there's more, though. This guy's stuck in the bloody sandbags. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. What is this place? Oh, we got an army, guys. Definitely something military up here. Oh, it looks like we got a lot of them. Is this some kind of... Oh, look, it's all boarded up. Some kind of hospital or something, maybe? I don't like that, how it's very narrow there. <laughs> what is this place? What is it? They're going to start coming out that window. I don't know what to do here. Let's give it a shout. Let's try and draw them out. I see some down here as well. Let's take care of them so we don't get cut off. Oh, it looks like some have gotten out over here. I feel it's going to be uh, it's going to be busy in there. If we're some coming behind here, we're trapped in there. We should have brought the should have brought the bloody sledgehammer with us. Damn it! All right, well, let's leave them for the time being. Let's have a look at uh, what else we got around here. Hmm. Does it look like it's industrial stuff? Now oh, this guy wasn't having a very good day, was he? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of industrial stuff around here. Be good though, because we need uh, all this stuff we can get metal sheets and all that. Ah, and this police lady had uh, a nice new baton on her, which we will take. We'll replace our club hammer with that. Oh, oh yes. Just going to try and clear the area as much as possible, really, because if we um, if we bring the car up, I don't want to get surrounded by him from the noise of the car. Oh, my God, there is a lot of them around here. Oh, God, there is a lot of them up there as well. Let's leave them alone up there, I think. We don't really need to go up there, so yeah, we'll leave them. All right, we are t getting exhausted as well, which isn't good. You know what, let's go down, have a rest of the car, dismantle the stuff, and we may come back up tomorrow. Actually, let's go back and have a look at this place. Let's deal with these so these don't come sneaking up behind us. I mean, we could go through a window, possibly. That might be the safest bet, actually. I just don't know how many are in there. That's the problem. Okay, we got a car park. Some nice cars over there, actually. I can hear a lot of zombies banging around, which um, doesn't fill me with confidence. Oh, wow, the door's open. Okay, let's do it. Right, are they coming? I've given it a shout, but let's do it again. Yeah, here they come from upstairs. Just go make sure our back's fine. Okay. Um, we've cleared some of them. I still feel there's going to be a lot. At least we can see the front and we can get out there if we need to. I don't really know what this building is. There's not a lot in here. There's no military stuff or even hospital beds. So they're definitely upstairs, I think. Oh, here they come. Yeah, let's get out of here, I think. We're going to start getting tired soon. See if we can get in here. Oh, it's open. Okay, that's one for tomorrow as well. Oh, look at all of this good stuff. My God, because our metal workers are so high, we're actually getting loads of stuff from the vehicles now, which is amazing. It's also going to increase our metal working skill, which is even better, because we want level six so we can put the metal sheets on. Oh, we didn't get that much from that one. Wow, we have got a hell of a lot of stuff. Our backpack's full and our satchel's pretty much full of metal working stuff. Right, let's head home, drop all this stuff off, and then have a little rest, and then probably back at it tomorrow, I think. All right, so we just got home. We all got we have got tired. It's half past four now. These zombies are coming up to us. We're overweight and tired, so this is not probably the wisest thing. But I want to get take care of them. 
Ah, oh, and the crates are actually full, so we're going to have to build another crate, which is, uh, well, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Or maybe we just keep it on the floor. No, we can't keep it on the floor. It looks so messy. <laughs> Um, but that's a job for another day, I think. Crops are looking okay. They're not uh, not anything special yet, but they will be. They will be. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're going to have this cigarette, and then we're going to hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 42. We're going to have some uh, have some breakfast, uh, 10 past 9. Good time to wake up, I'd say. Uh, we're going to have some breakfast, and then we're going to drive. Oh, look at his hair. His hair is getting long. Old Andy, man, you need a haircut. Maybe we do that at some point, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have we got any food on us? No, we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna drive back up to uh to that place, I think. But yeah, we need to get a crate as well at some point, don't we? Uh well that's fine, we can do that. I think dismantling the cars is probably gonna be the best way to get our metal working skill up, I reckon. Ah, uh, we need chains as well. I wanna get chains on to protect our tires from these bloody dead zombies we got here. Oh yeah, let's deal with these as well. Do we have a little look in here while we're here? Oh, we've already been in here, haven't we? Dismantling. <laughs> Scanner module. I've not seen that before. I wonder what that's for. It's a lot of electrical, so I'm guessing this is like an electrical factory, don't it? Must be. Where's this guy going? Where's this lady going? Come on, lady. Come on. Messing around. Well, I was hoping to find some chains in here, but there's not. We're actually going to mark this off as well. We don't really need anything electrical, so yeah, let's mark it. Do you want to get our freezer at some point as well? That'd be nice for all uh, cabbage. Let's dismantle these cars. Actually, we're pretty low on propane fuel. Should have topped up before we come, shouldn't we? Oh, we got some good, uh, some good resources from that. Why is there a bandage in there? Ah, uh, we're actually out of propane fuel for the torch. Um, that's fine. Well, we won't be doing any more dismantling today, but that's fine. Oh, it's broken out of here. That's nice. At least we don't have to clear it out. They've all come out to us. All right, let's do it. Okay, we got some, we got some duct tape. I never say no to duct tape. Screws, yeah. Wood glue, yeah. What is this like the generator room for this place or something? It looks like. I feel welding rods might come in useful. I don't know what for, but I, I feel they could do for something. So we'll take them. Yeah, that's about it around here. All right, do want to get in this building? It's, it's interesting because it's fenced off, so I feel there's going to be something in there worth looking at. Let's do this building down here as well. Yeah, I keep seeing army people, so I feel that there's got to be something to do with the military here, definitely. Oh, does that actually give us more protection? The military camo jacket. Uh, and that's got a hole in it, so we're not going to take it, but that's good to know. Let's keep an eye out for that. Rubber band, because I think what we can do with a rubber band is actually um, tie hair and ponytail. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we're uh, we sort ourselves out. We're a bit more presentable now. Mm, security cameras. Something definitely going on here. It's not all as it seems. I don't think it's just industrial area. Oh well, weight is uh, not good. Seventy six and dropping. We're gonna have to have some uh, something tasty when we get back. I think. Oh, you don't even need a rubber band to put your hair in a ponytail. Oh well. How many kills on two thousand? Wow. Okay. What's the short blunt? Yeah, short blunt's a real uh, a real winner when you got high levels in it. I'd actually really recommend the uh, the construction worker. It's nice. Nice starting off with that leveling carp. It's also nice having the uh, short blunt. There's something going on in there because that's barricaded from the other side. Oh, we're through, I think. This is it. Oh, yeah, look. look let's put the, the, put the desk there and barricade it. That's cool. I like that. A little bit of world building. What about in there, though? It's even getting another way. I don't want to be messing around and barricading stuff. Now, here we go. Oh, I think that's the other side. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing really in there. Nothing really in here either. All right, let's try and uh, let's go upstairs. It's risky. Whew, we're up, okay. It's just that first, it's that unknown. Guy's out the bloody window here. What are these guys doing? Not really a lot in this building, to be honest. Thought there'd be more. A lot of bookcases, which uh, is good if you need books, but we are we are golden for books. We need a generator, if anything. But like I said in the last episode, I think I'm not going to go around purposely looking for one. If we find one, we find one. We'll just have to do with moving our current one. Uh, there ain't nothing in here, to be honest. Pretty disappointing. All right, let's get out of here. Seeing the military people does make me think there's got to be something military over here, but it doesn't... So far, no luck. Let's have a drive around. There's a lot of zombies. Jeez. Some residential houses there by the looks. Bloody hell, look at them all. Not seen any military zombies though. Oh, that's been fenced off. Look at all these wrecks. Oh, this has got sandbags. 
Let's stop here just quickly. Let's see how many come after us. Ah, uh, quite a few. Okay. Um, can we take them? Probably. No, we're going. We're going. Get in! We might be right here. Mm, there is a few of them coming. We might be able to take them. Whew, okay. Right, let's let's make our way up here. But yeah, it's half past four. We're gonna start getting tired soon. We do have a military guy here as well. well let's have a little peek in here. We're not gonna go in today, maybe, but I wanna have a little peek. See, why is it all sandbagged? Oh, we got construction stuff. Ah, it looks like it is all construction. We will come back tomorrow. Oh, we got we got quite a few soldiers here. Oh, okay. Let's see if this guy's jacket is uh no, <laughs> no good. Oh, he does have five five six. So we'll take that. This lady did have a military backpack. I don't know if that's better. Twenty eight eighty seven. Twenty eight eighty seven. What are we rocking? Uh, 2880 is actually better, so we're going to take that as well. And we'll change that back at base and put all of our stuff on there. So this isn't actually on the map by the looks of it. Look. Oh, yeah, let's let's have a look in here. It could just be a construction site, but I want to have a look. Um, wow, yeah, there's nothing. There's military zombies, though. It makes me think. Got to be something around here. Look at this. This has got bars. We'll bring the sledgy down tomorrow. Let's get back. Oh, we got some wanderers have drifted on over. What the hell are you doing on my turf? Get the hell out of here. All right, so we're going to have some food. It's not going to be long before we get to bed because it's 20 to 8. We are tired already. Oh, we need calories, don't we? That's what we need. Let's eat some. Let's eat some black beans. There we go. Two Chevys. That's fine. We are very unhappy, but we'll take some antidepressants. Oh, the seeds are coming through. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are going to do a little bit around the base. I want to get another crate built. I want to do some tailoring on our new bag. So, we, yeah, it's going to be a base day tomorrow, but we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 43. We are we are getting through the days. We're gaining weight, which is nice. But, yeah, as I said, we're just going to uh, do a bit of carp today. We're going to get, get some more crates out here, maybe two, maybe stack them on top of each other. I don't know. We're also to sort out the backpack as well. We want to get that... Um, Get the attachments because it's better capacity than the one we've got. So, yeah, let's crack on. I'm not going to go chopping trees. I'm just going to dismantle someone in the houses because we only need four planks. And we got one there. So, we're only going to need three planks to get a crate done. So, that's not too bad. Oh, wow. This guy had a uh, had a pistol on him. We'll actually take that. I don't see that very often on the normal zombies. We'll see if one will do it, hopefully. Yeah, that's got all of it in there. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's three planks, isn't it? Uh, I'm so stupid. I should know these things by now. All right, let's get this uh, backpack all patched up all right well we've added the uh attachments to our backpack which is nice so we are looking good now with the rest of the day we're gonna go around just clear the area a little bit i think so i had noticed we'd had some zombies move oh yeah here we go we got some right here you bastards come on and we got quite a few over here well looks like we got the majority of them there's a couple by this house by the looks of it let's deal with them Ah, the baton! No, not the baton! Well, luckily we have the other one which we got, which is nice. I am just looking in these garages that are already open across the road from us. Just see if we can get lucky with a generator, but then also if we can find some chains for the tyres. It's nice how the zombies have smashed all the doors in for us. Nice one, zombies. Actually come in useful for once. No, load of metal pipes and stuff, but I mean, we can just dismantle cars for that. And we actually got a load of them as well back at base anyway. All right, let's head home, I think. Actually, let's check the condition of our car. This is all... We did run into a zombie, and the bull boss still got 100%, so... Um, happy days. I mean, I wonder, how do you go about repairing it? I suppose you have to uninstall it and reinstall it, maybe? Let's have a look at the general condition of the car. Wow, okay, yeah, she's good, she's good. I mean, this is probably the best I've kept a car going for her so long. Ah, this tire's starting to... Uh, we can repair it. What's the best for glue? I mean, I wouldn't mind a nice new tire on there. Let's have a look at these other cars, because maybe we do that tomorrow. Heavy duty, isn't it? Maybe this propane uh, truck's got some, actually. Yeah, look at that, 96%. We're having it. We're having it. Okay, that's a job for tomorrow. Again, probably another base day tomorrow, I think. Actually, going to put the sledgehammer on the roof rack because then you never know when you need a sledgehammer. It's better to have it and not need it. As I say, then, to need it and not have it. 
And it's not like we ain't got the space for it. I mean, we got 123 in the boot and 100 on the roof. That's plenty. All right, so it's 10 past 10. We're going to have a smoke and then go to bed. We also, got, I'm actually going to go and get that chest freeze as well from the shop down the road tomorrow. Yeah, a bit of, uh, you know, car improvements, replace the wheelbase improvements, you know, taking care of ourselves tomorrow, I think. All right, day 44. We have woken up very early. We need to go to bed later. Um, we are hungry as well. How is our weight looking? We still got the two Chevys. Ah, one Chevron. Okay, so maybe let's eat. Oh, oh no, the ice cream's going to be rotten, isn't it? Let's actually get rid of all of this so I don't accidentally eat it because, uh, yeah, it's uh, been known to happen. But uh, do we eat the butter? Mm, yeah, let's eat the butter. <laughs> Didn't actually do that much to our chevrons. There we go. A bit of spag bowl and we're on, uh, we're on two Chevys. Two Chevy chasers. Let's get the uh, jack and everything. I mean, we're not going to need to take this propane truck anywhere, I don't think. There we go. She is on. That is nice. What we'll do as well, we will keep this tight because 54, I mean, it's not horrendous. We will keep it and place it down here as a backup oh and i almost forgot to pump the tire up we'll do all of them while we're at it oh 65 maybe we look at changing out at some point as well i think once they get to around 50 we look at changing them oh we got bloody fog coming in of course we have i think we're gonna need another crate as well you know can't put the bloody tire pump anywhere all right so the fog's just about going so we are gonna go down and get that chest freezer i think Let's probably see what food's in that store as well actually a lot of zombies well, oh, it's a restaurant. Why the hell is there an ice cream machine, ice cream freezer outside a restaurant? All right, let's uh, have a little look around on foot at some of these buildings because we're probably going to start getting tired since we was up early. But if we can find that little food store, um, I'll take some food. All right, oh, what we got here then? Hardware store. Wow, and maybe we find some chains in here. It is definitely a hardware store. Wow, oh, wow. Sledgehammer, we don't really need it. We'll take the nail, uh, the screws. Mm, propane tank, we don't really need that. Or another torch because, well, we've got the truck, haven't we? More building supplies, I think. Um, I can't believe we haven't found any change. No, chains. Normally I see them all over the bloody place. Always the way when you need something, it ain't there. Uh, we will take a machete, though. <laughs> no, nothing really of uh, any use in here. Well, a machete, I'll always take that. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, I knew there's a few behind there, but didn't quite expect that many. Ah, nearly. Ah, it looks like this is the bar, isn't it? All right, we are home. We're going to drop some of this stuff off, have some food. Um, and then that's probably about it for today. A bit low on food, to be fair. Maybe tomorrow we do go down to that store and kind of raid it for what we can. Yeah, our cabbage is going to be, well, it's probably about a week off, I reckon. It's not even, we need to wait for its seed bearing as well. So, yeah, we're going to go down to the shop tomorrow, I think. All right, we've had some food. We've had a smoke. Time for bed. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 45. We are going on a supply room. We're going down to the food store. Let's have a look at the map, actually. We haven't looked at it a couple of days. We're still going to go in here. I want to go down to this bit here um, and hopefully get some goodies. As it looks like there's some military stuff there, so hopefully. But, yeah, we're going down to this food store. Maybe have a look at the high street, see how busy it is. But, um, yeah, let's just crack on. Let's have a quick look at our cabbage. Still not quite ready. Maybe a few more days. I don't know. We'll see. All right, there's a few zombies coming down. Let's take care of them. There's a fair few of them coming down. Come on in, you bastards. Let's have you. All right, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Oh, we didn't fix our freezer up either. We must do that when we get back as well. All right, let's take this high-calorie uh, high stuff. Nice, nice, nice. The rest is probably rotten, but the boutoir will be good. Especially as we probably won't be doing any trapping, I don't think, possibly, but doubtful. So having the high-calorie stuff, if we're living off cabbage, Having the high calorie stuff will uh, will come in nice actually. All right, so we cleared this out. We've loaded the car up with stuff, and we saw oh, all of this. Um, I think we're probably going to be okay for the time being. We got a load, so we won't mark it as done because we know there's still food there. I mean, look at all of this we got. Oh, we got food for days. All right, let's actually go and have a look on the high street a little bit. Not too crazy, but let's not get carried away. But I wouldn't mind seeing what else we got down here. Let's go a little bit further. We are getting lagged, so it makes me think there's a lot of zombies around. Oh, I tell you what, let's go down to that fuel station we was looking at. Oh, my Lord, there is a lot of them. Let's park up here so we can escape. And let's go and try and clear it out a little bit, actually. Oh, bloody hell, there's a, there's a lot of them come on over. Woo! 
Oh, okay. Well, that's taken care of a fair few, but I feel there's still a... Yeah, there's still quite a few down there, but that's fine, so we, get, we can move in slowly now. Oh, the machete's gone. What is our short, our long blade, actually? Um, let's have a look here. Look, our three, so that's pretty good. Short blunt's going to be, uh, what, six soon? I think we'll probably actually... Oh, we can repair it one more time, I think. Two, two's enough. After that, you don't really see. I mean, we got plenty of machetes anyway, but you can never have too many machetes. All right, let's uh, slowly make our way down. I don't think we're going to find a generator here. It'd be nice if there was, but I don't think so somehow. The baton's taking quite a, uh, a bit of a beating. Mm, could even take another popsicle fridge uh, freeze. I don't think we need it though. We will clear some of these cars out as well. Looks like everyone was trying to get gas. Oh, we got a bar, the wooden stein, and the turbo TV. All right, well, it's fairly clear. Oh, we got any old McCoys here? Uh, an empty bottle. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, oh, we got a level in metal working. Amazing. So what we're on now? Five. Brilliant. Uh, we're not going to take all this stuff because we've we've got so much. Oh, we will take these though. Empty jumbo jerry can. That's got to be big. Oh, and a pipe bomb. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Let's go siphon a load of gas from these cars. None of them have any gas in them. Brilliant. Nope, they don't. Oh, and we got zombies on us now as well. All right, let's go dump this stuff back off. Let's go see if we can get some gas from these. Oh, we are tired, and we do have zombies coming. All right, let's go back. Not worth the risk. All right, we are home, and we got a lot of stuff in this car that we need to sort out. But we are tired, so I don't want to risk it. So that's a job for tomorrow. So we'll be sorting tomorrow around the base, but the day after, we are going back to that military place, or what I believe is a military place. All right, it's 10 o'clock. We're going to get a bed, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 46, we got a lot to do. We got a lot of sorting to do. Uh, I do love a bit of base sorting. <laughs> hmm, just trying to think where we're gonna put the freezer. Um, maybe we put it against this wall, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do, you know. All right, let's uh, let's get at it. Let's get all this food out, all this good stuff. Yeah, I think we're, we're also gonna need another crate as well, because we got so much metal working stuff, it's actually just a bit ridiculous now. There we go, we got the fridge, uh, the freezer in. Nice, 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 nice. Not turned on yet, but that's fine. Oh, no, we still got some water in there. Uh, but anyway, it's 20 to 11. Time for bed, and tomorrow we're going back to the industrial area there. We'll see you then. All right, day 47. Wow, we're nearly halfway. We're nearly halfway. Right, today we're going back down to the military. Well, the industrial place. I was, I was, there's got to be military stuff down there. I just know it. Why would there be military spawns? It's kind of out of the way as well. Makes sense, but <laughs> you watch, there'll probably be absolutely nothing down there. All right, weight's on 80, so that's fine. We'll take the chips with us. What we got to snack on here? Anything? Uh, let's have a Majeska. Mod Jeska. Yeah, that'll do. Wouldn't mind a better colour for the car, but, well, there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. All right, looks like some zombies have come on over. We're going to get rid of that ambulance as well. Also, let's sledgehammer these things, because I know what will happen. I'll end up crashing. That could be very, very bad. Oh, we didn't refill our propane torch. God damn it. Okay, we'll do that next time we're here. God damn, short blunt is so good with enough levels. So common to find as well. All right, that's them dealt with. Let's drive up a little bit, I think. Where was the building with the fences in? Was it this one here, or was it further down? I can't actually remember. I think it was further down. All right, let's scope this building out, I think. All right, I actually hear quite a few zombies in here somewhere. Wow, there's a lot of uh, shelves in here we can have a look at. Ah, oh, and another level in short blunt. Nice. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is a military store. Oh my god, look at all this ammo. Oh my god, oh my god, we have hit the mother load. Not going to take anything just yet, I'm just going to take 9mm um, for the time being. I want to see if we can get a gun, like with a suppressor on, that'd be nice. This is crazy, we got enough ammo here to clear the bleed town, probably. Oh, this must have been the gun factory, that's what the town was, wasn't it? That's what it was. That's probably why there's military people. They're like the guards. Oh, we got spaz. That's nice. That's nice. Tech 9 will take. Tech 9 magazine. Yes. We got to mark this on the map. I don't really know what to mark it down as. Um, yeah, let's put it as the gun. <laughs> 
I have been picking up shotgun boxes, uh, shotgun shells as well, because they, um, you know what, actually, we, I'll land the lube. <laughs> uh, we may actually do a bit of shotgun fun around here. Try and get some extra levels now that we've picked up a spas. I'm going to get back to the car and drop some of this stuff off. Yeah, let's put the spas on our, on the weapon. And we'll actually, yeah, we'll have a bit of shotgun fun up here, I think. The last time I tried the spas, I didn't actually like it, to be fair. Uh, is this a good idea? Probably not, actually. Let's let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's have a little go on foot and see what else we got around here. Oh god, it's more. It's more. I just don't know what to do with it all. I really don't. <laughs> you know what? We are gonna have some shotgun fun. I also want to get the Winchester as well. I'm gonna drive down here a little bit so we can get a hell out if we need to. Ah, oh, we're tired. No, we're tired. We're going back. We're going back. Let's not risk it. So yeah, this is a uh this is where they make all the guns and ammo. Wow, that's really good that they put that in there. I mean, it's maybe a little bit overpowered, but you know what? I don't even care. All right, we are home. Let's dump some of this stuff off. All right, tomorrow we're going to go down to the high street, I think, and start blasting. Let's stir the hornet's nest up down there, and we can at least get the hell out if we need to. All right, it's half past ten. We're going to go to bed, and tomorrow we're going to go shoot. I wouldn't mind a okay, yeah, couple more levels, at least one more level in aiming to get to number four. Um, I'd like five, but we'll see. We'll see. How many rounds we got on the old shotty anyway with us? 160. That should, uh, that should be enough to cause some carnage, but we'll see in the morning. All right, day 48. I think what we're actually going to do today, we're not going to the high street today. We're going to sort out our guns. I need to know what we got. Maybe we have an armory here. Maybe we get some crates. Oh, no, let's have an armory here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Um, not very exciting. We will go down to the high street tomorrow. But I want to get, so yeah, I want to get my guns laid out. I think that'll be pretty cool, actually. All right, we got some planks to put our armory down, our table. We should be able to craft one now. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's get a large table. Yeah, let's pop it there. Not the best looking table, I won't lie. But we're going to need more. We're going to need more crates for all this ammo we've got. Look at all these guns. I think we got too many to lay them out, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's put all of our rifles and stuff. That's what I want out. There they are. Oh, look at them. Not so good a table, but yeah, they look nice. They look nice. We've got some rifles. No automatic rifles, uh, but it is what it is. We've got the Winchester there. We've also turned the generator on for the first time. Now, I had six days, but then I went around and turned all the lights off. So let's have a look what we got left. Uh, Ten days without the lights. Bloody hell. Okay, I think we're going to keep this on, you know. Interesting to see if it brings any old zombos over. That's brought one over already. Okay, buddy, come on then. Let's go. Actually, being as around the base, let's get that next level of carp, I think. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we've just finished the book. Let's watch uh, that exposure survival. Um, let's get rid of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, em it's full. Let's delete it. Delete. Yeah, delete. See you later. Don't know what was in there, but it's gone now. <laughs> Nothing of any use, I doubt. Uh, let's have a smoke as well. All right, let's see if we can get that, that level to get us up to make a good rain collector. I think we can do good furniture then as well and good crates. So that would actually help loads. Oh, yes, and we got it. We got it. Happy days. Oh, and half of another level. Bloody hell. Right, let's dismantle this table now. <laughs> All right, first thing we want to do, though, is see if we can build another rain collector. I don't have any garbage bags, so not sure if we're going to get enough from dismantling it. Let's dismantle it anyway, and we'll see. Don't think there's going to be a lot of water in it. Yeah, free, so... Hmm. Uh, no, we got no um, bags from it. <laughs> All right, well, the planks are up here anyway. We'll have a look when we're down in this town center. Uh, that's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to the high street looking for some bin bags. We'll finish out the uh, the armory at some point. Um, not tomorrow, maybe next episode. We'll see, but we're going to go to bed. We'll see in the morning. All right, day 49. Let's get straight on with it, getting down there. We woke up at 10 past 5. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go. Uh, actually, we're going to wait around a little bit just so it gets a bit lighter, I think. Yeah, this is this is more reasonable. Uh, half past 6. Let's go down. Let's go down shooting. You know, it might be a good idea, actually, to do it in this car park. Because behind us is fairly clear, and it is nice and open over here. All right, we balled them. It's showtime. Oh, reloading. We'll take that. I don't know if this was a good idea, to be honest. Well, we've committed now. Oh, look at them. They're coming. Not really getting any experience, though. Oh, my God. Look. Look at them all. Don't want to take them too close to the car. Let's go up here. It looks fairly clear up here. 
It's actually clearing them off the high street for us as well. Seems to have attracted most of the ones that were coming, the majority. Let's have a smoke. Alright, so we're halfway there. We might get now, nah, not with 30 shells left, I don't think so. Could do with a pharmacy to get some more beta blockers. I did see one somewhere, but I just cannot remember where it is. Alright, so yeah, we're still. Yeah, maybe another 100 shells would do us. Well, that looks like the majority of them. Let's go down and see if there is the farm. I think it is somewhere around here, but let's go and have a look. The spas is actually quite good. I know when I tried it in my, I think it was the Nomad run, I didn't really like it, but it's actually doing pretty good now. Where the hell was that pharmacy? Oh yeah, we need bin bags, don't we? Oh, well, we got three bins here, so hopefully. I think a pharmacy might be pink, actually, isn't it? Let's have a look on the map. There. Oh, yeah, that must have been it there. Okay, well, we know where it is. Maybe we swing by. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's get another bin bag from here, and then we'll go up to the pharmacy, I think. No, the baton is gone. It's gone. Rip in peace. A lot of zombies up here. There's the pharmacy. We don't want a lot. Just a couple of packets of beta blockers. We could be able to get in and out. It's so normally this counter, the counters that have it. Yep, they're coming, they're coming, okay. Alright, two beta blockers of that will actually do as I think. Oh, let's check the last uh, last counter. Yeah, let's just take them while we're here. Alright, we're back home. Fairly productive day. We got half a level in aiming, we got bin bags, we got beta blockers. We're uh yeah, we're looking pretty good to be honest. We don't need all of this stuff though. We don't actually have a lot in our uh, in our medical cabinet. <laughs> Alright, let's build this rain collector and hopefully get it plumbed in. Oh yeah, we got a big boy, we got a big boy. There we go, the table is made. Are they nails on there? Alright, it's half past ten, time for bed, and we'll see you in the morning for day fifty. Wow! All right, day 50, we are up and at him. I'm gonna have a look at this rain collector. What the hell's going on with it? Why are you plumbed in or what? Let's add some water from here and test it, shall we? Ah, uh, so it's already plumbed in, okay. So it's actually the sink that you plumb in for whatever you put on the top. That's good to know, actually. I was getting a bit worried there. Okay, so I've actually moved all of my guns over here, which is nice. They're all in one spot next to the display cabinet. When I get some better guns, I'll put some better guns on display. But I also want another crate for ammo and then probably another one for attachments as well. Oh, carpentry up another level, thank you. All right, so this one here is gonna be for all the ammo, I think. So boy, are we gonna have a lot of it. All right, and in this one, we'll have all of our magazines and attachments and everything like that. So yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. All in the armory. I like the armory, but yeah, we're probably gonna leave it there. We're not gonna do anything much around the base today. I know it's only uh, 11.20, but yeah, we'll probably just chill out next episode we are going to go back to the industrial place and down on the high street, I think. But yeah, day uh, day 50. Wow, we're halfway. I think that deserves a little dance. Let's do uh, the body wave. Yeah, why the hell not? But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.